Oh, good. You're here. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda, indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Uh, many a time the harmony of their tongues Hath I listened to Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Wow. A romantic and a cynic. That actually kind of helps me. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. I'll just be a minute. Okay. So, why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't... Rachel looks so happy here. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. Here you go. Ow! <laughs> I didn't say attack me with it. Shit. Sorry. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. <laughs> I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Is that a rhetorical question? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Ditch class. You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. Let's get the hell out of here.
You sure you don't want to just grab the bus, or...? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? Go. North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. I didn't mention it earlier, but... You seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? <laughs> I guess you could say I'm good with people. Yeah. Just don't pull that stuff with me. You will get on this train. Oh, <laughs> shit. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Try again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun? Joy rides to where again? Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. Let's do something fun. Okay. I'm listening. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie? Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Katmandu. One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. 
You say three things? Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay, so ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? You seem more like a Cali girl than me. Damn, Price, not bad. Long Beach, in fact. West Coast is the best coast. I've only ever lived in Oregon, so nothing to compare it to, I guess. Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? Okay, your turn, Price. First fact, right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. Sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? Swear. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. So, pirate. Obviously true. Maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Oh, are you accepting applications? Considering it. Okay, you say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work. Well, sure. It's not for everyone. I get that. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. Which brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Alleged? I'm calling lie. Why is that? I mean, maybe you're allergic, but I've passed by your locker a few times. And I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. You've passed by my locker? Stalker much? Hey, I notice things. I can't help it. I guess you're no stranger to being noticed, too. It's kind of new for me. Well, get used to it. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first, embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. I guess. You opened up a lot, that's all. 
It's not a big deal. Hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Trust doesn't exactly come easy to me. Maybe if you'd had my life, you'd understand. No, I get that. On the other hand, I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes... I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out, we're here. What? Where is here? Jump and find out. Did you say jump? Jump! Fuck it. Actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we've got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. That blows. Well, shit. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. 
I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh yeah? Let's see what you got. Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her. Huh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a... nail file? I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. Damn it. It always looks so easy in the movies. I wonder if I can find something sturdier to use. Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> Press got power, activate. I don't want to boast, so I'll let you do it for me. Chloe Price, you are truly the viewfinder whisperer. I stand in awe of your powers. All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during, like, every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. All right. Let's see. Why do we always hold hands like this? Didn't you tell me you were ambidextrous? No, I didn't. I said I was ambisexual. Oh, so you can have sex with both of your hands? Exactly. Wanna see? Only if you let go of my hand first. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> they totally stole my third grade art project. Wow, you made that? Can't you tell? It does have a certain give zero fucks quality that I recognize. Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God, you just have the best ideas. Think this guy's married to a nutritionist? He's all like, I'm not allowed to eat this stuff at home, so... I'm so glad I became a lawyer. I love getting paid in fries. Do you think he represents the Hamburglar? Wouldn't he be paid in hamburgers then? Shit, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What's going on with these two? And the Lord saideth? Thou shalt make a burnt offering of your firstborn son. Who are you talking to, Dad? No one, son. Now, lean into the grill and see if the fire started. Further. <laughs> Further. Wow. That was dark. Too dark? Perfect dark. This is fun. Who's next? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Ooh, <laughs> jackpot! Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Wait, you're a prostitute? But I'm a prostitute! Now who gets paid? <laughs> Rachel? Hey, are you alright? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. I don't know. I might still be hungover from last night. Wrong answer. You don't ask a girl out and then... and then not buy her a drink. They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead? No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody. Right? And... Fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. Alright. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Um, can we help you? <sighs> Oh my god! Holy shit! Talk about committing to a performance. Better act fast. Oh, thank god! Please, this girl is in trouble! Go get help! I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. What are you waiting for? Go! Don't look at me. Look at Baywatch over here. Aw, uh, I don't remember how to do CPR. What? It's time to nut up or shut up. Watch out. I'm going to check her pulse. That's on her neck, right? 
I still think you should go get help. There's a ranger station on the other side of the park. Good point. But we'll keep watch while you go. Uh, uh, look at all the time we've wasted already. This woman needs mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Stat. Uh, no. Yep. Definitely needs mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. Okay. Okay. You can do this. I can't do it. Pathetic. Look, he's clearly useless. This woman needs help from someone who actually knows what they're doing. Thou shalt help those who help thine selves. You know who said that? Cod? Oh, word? I thought it was Benjamin Franklin. Oh, but that's be that's even better. Damn it! She's right. Hey, wow. I'm all better now. You saved my life. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Yeah, good work, everyone. Peace out. That was incredible. You're a hero. Huh. I guess I am. Here, you earn this. No, thanks. You're the one who really worked for it. Suit yourself. I am excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. Check this out. What? Great. It's a pile of trash. Uh, yeah. An awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? Chloe, I'd really like some space right now. Okay. Actually, no. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. I know I'm not the easiest person to be around. I don't exactly have tons of experience with the whole friendship thing. Not everything revolves around you, Chloe. I didn't say it did. 
I'm just saying I understand. No, you really don't. Fuck! <laughs> uh... Okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but apparently she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. Score. Hey. Check it out. I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer drinking it next to an old toilet. Home run! Can I see? Sure. I asked you to leave me alone. Are you kidding me? I, I know you're the school princess and all, with the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass, but seriously, fuck you. Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait! Don't go! Why not? Because... because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this, exactly? I mean... Fuck. Are you actually going to make me say it? Say what? You know, like... a friendship. But... more. Oh. I know. Weird, right? It's just... Today was the best day I've had since... Since my dad died. And when I almost ruined it just now, the way I ruin everything, it made me realize... Whatever's going on between us is special. Come on. Say something. Chloe, I... I... You know what? Forget it. This was really stupid. I mean, you're Rachel Amber, and I'm Chloe Price. It's not that. It's just hard right now. And I can't talk about it. Why not? Because I can't. I know it isn't fair, but it's how it is. Bye, Chloe. Fuck. This. Place. You know she's fake, yet you can't take your eyes off her. Who else do I know who fits that description? Yeah! Fuck off, Rachel.
I've never understood your hard on for cameras, Max. You took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. Fuck cameras. Rip a family apart from the inside. It's important to bring the proper tools. Fuck you, David. Why are you crying, sweetheart? Because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? I guess I did that? Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. I don't feel drunk. Gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel, you might say? <laughs> She nearly took your head off. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. 
what's past is prologue and shit. Sometimes people need you, though. Even when they don't admit it. You came. I'm glad. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Oh. All right. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh. The worst part is... <laughs> I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I, thought I could catch him or something. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't... I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. 
forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was gonna die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. You trusted him? Completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. Don't... Don't worry about it. No, I mean it. Meeting you, this friendship, it means more to me than you could possibly imagine. And you said you have feelings for me. And it caught me off guard is all. I could have handled it better. I'm sorry. Hey, no. It's okay. Whatever this is, we're going to figure it out together. Right? I just want you to know... I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? Two against one. But you wouldn't take any shit from them. I'd be dead if you hadn't thrown that bottle. You inspired me. What about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan? You got right in his face and called him out. That was pretty sweet, actually. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... I'm so sorry, Rachel. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. Can I borrow your lighter? Thank you.